your shoes and your keys if you want it back bring me some money call me so I can tell you the price Bobby V don't run Bobby Valentino come here come on bro <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right well you know what this is your boy Edmund the general also known as the brand and uh, what you just witnessed is uh, Bobby Valentino. His name has been going all over the web. And it's obvious he was, um, he was caught slipping with a tranny. <laughs> now, we can't ignore the fact that he's not the only one that's been fucking trannies. You know what I'm saying? We got Amy Murphy. We got uh, Jamie Foxx. Um... You know, the list goes on. He he just happens to be one of the very uh, few that got caught with the one. That's all. <laughs> so let's not act like he's the he's the only one that's 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 about that life. About that man booty life, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's just a damn shame. Like, why didn't he even pay this man his money? That's what I'm tripping about. You can't just leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you paid for the service. You paid to get whatever it is that you were looking for at that time. Either to blow that back or to get your back blow, bro, to get your back broken. <laughs> whatever your preference is, right? And, uh, you just dip like that? Come on, man. I want to believe you went there not knowing that that was a tranny. I want to believe that you went there thinking that that was a woman... But then after when the pants went down because you were already down, hey, you know what? You got slipping. You got caught. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know I know this one guy. I, I, this guy might kill me. But uh, I know this one guy. And um, <laughs> oh, man, it's, this is a sad story. So anyways, he was telling me that he was walking down the street. And uh, up come this girl pulling up in this nice car. It's like a convertible. And uh, he, she says, hey, you know what? You want to, you know, want to fuck, right? So my boy's like, yeah, sure, whatever. You know, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. He's ripped. He's in the mood for some pum pum. So I, I, I guess why not, right? That's the mentality that he was on at that time. So anyway, he gets in the car. They go down to this close park, or this car, this part that's close by, sorry. And um, he doesn't get the boom boom. He he gets sucked off. <laughs> All right, so he busts his nut. The girl guy swallows. Now I'm saying girl guy because at the time he thought it was a girl, right? From what he told me, when he she pulled up because he thought it was kind of suspect, he asked the girl to pull down her top. He, she did pull on the top, saw some titties, pulled up the skirt halfway, but not going all the way up to reveal the crutch area. You know what I mean? Just enough to be that, to be that convincing, right? So anyways, back to the story. He gets sucked off, he busts his nut. All of a sudden, 
the tranny and goes, all right, now it's my turn. <laughs> my boy just got up and bolted. One thing for sure is all of us, you know, we're, we're cool with each other. So we're able to share these, whatever experience that we've gone to, whether it be on that level of embarrassing or degrading whatever this experience that we would have had we'll just come together and we'll just talk about it i'm, I'm sorry bro i like, see, put it like this a lot of people don't know this only the circle does so i'm not gonna get booked <laughs> for the way how i'm talking so yeah uh again bobby is just one of the very many individuals who are into this stuff who just got caught so, hey, you know what? It's a damn shame. You should have paid. You know what I think should be done now, though? Uh, especially when it comes to y'all trannies or anyone who's in the prostitution business. Selling ass, selling pussy, whatever. Um, y'all need to really get some security. Get a pimp. Get somebody that's going to be guarding the front door. Whatever. You just need some sort of filter so that when that person comes in or tries to leave, you know, the services need to get paid. I obviously up front would be the best thing. We don't wait till after, bro. So I feel bad for the the guy who got stiffed by Bobby. You know what I'm saying? He it looks like he did his thing, and I think what happened to my what happened to Bobby was the same thing happened to my boy, where uh, probably Bobby did get serviced by the guy, and then I guess. It was probably uh, Bobby's turn to return the favor, and I guess he just didn't know. I'm just curious to know what he's going to say when it's time to explain himself. Because you know how all these industry people do, right? Anytime somebody does something retarded, out of line, not normal, quote-unquote, you know, they always got to come up with an explanation as to why. And it's always some bullshit. I think it's come to the point where we all know that. If you don't know, then you're probably new to this. So I'm not going to dock you. It's not your fault. Well, this is episode 8. And I'm about to do some reviews on some tracks that a few people have actually sent over. I say sent over because I put out a, a Facebook post again and I wrote specifically if you're looking for feedback about your song drop your links below and I'll post it on my channel. I'm really glad at the turnout I'm gonna be honest and the response time was real quick. I communicated back to the individuals actually the first four or three four individuals who posted up I, I see there's probably 18 19 more um but and it looks like you're still growing you're getting notifications so um i'm going to be doing the first four that i see and then uh, as usual i'll i'll continue to go down the list and then I'll, I'll tag you in as i finish my my critique so uh the first person that i'll be taking a look at right now would be scarlett zwartz i'm, I'm hopefully pronouncing your name correctly Zwart as in Z-W-A-R-T, Scarlet, S-C-A-R-L-E-T, so Scarlet Zwart. And this track that she sent, which is called Sin, was uploaded 15 hours ago, and it's, uh, it's techno music. I like techno. I think y'all should know that by now. I like all kind of music, but uh, I like the body movement type of song. <laughs> so... We're looking at jungle, we're looking at EDM, techno, trance, you know, I like that kind of music. Rap, everybody should know this by now, that's my number one love. Rap, hip-hop, that's my shit. Alright, so, uh, after looking at this, uh, the, you know, the, the, the song called Sin, <laughs> uh, there's 71 plays, uh, 24, 25 likes, and 6 reposts. 
Wow, in 15 hours you got all that, that's what's up. Um, 165 people have subscribed to your, uh, your SoundCloud channel and 15 tracks in total, that's what's up. And you already got enough comments in here, 7 comments in regards to your track. I like this. I really like this. I just hope this is a really good song. You know, I've heard songs in the past where uh when the past few shows where it just wasn't up to par straight ass butt cheeks you know what i'm saying so i'm, I'm hoping this is one of those top seven and above songs all right so i'll be grading each song that i listened to today on a scale of one to ten and along with some of my feedback and we'll move forward after that as to what will be next, right? Here we go.
Alright, so that was uh, Scarlett Zwart. And again, she was uh, showing us this song here called Sin. What a name. Alright, well, to me, I, I really like the song. I, I really like it. It sounded like a video game to me. Like one of those video game songs. And uh, I, I think what you should do, I, I think you should, um, I think you should send this song, send the song over to Newsgrounds. I, I'm a member of them as well, so set it up to to to, to news Newsgrounds because they're always looking for video game songs, themes, music, anything that's revolving around. Um, video games you, might, you probably might have an opportunity to make some money off of that because they're always looking always and I believe this is one of those songs that can make it well on a scale of 1 to 10 when it comes to your song I give this I'll give it a 7 I really liked it I really liked it um I don't have anything negative to say. Overall, I really like the song. So, good job. Good job. I was just curious to know, though, uh, what program did you use, or do you use, whenever you make your music? Uh, just, just comment below so I have an idea. Not just me, but everyone else has an idea because I like, I like the way how you put it all together. It sounded pretty good. All right, so. Uh, I'll hit a like on your track as well, just so you know, just to show some love. And uh, I'll drop a comment on there as well. All right, well, I just dropped a comment on your uh, on your SoundCloud track as well, and I hit the like button just to show some love. So uh, there we go. All right, who do we got next? I see here, Tiago Felipe. Tiago Felipe. <laughs> I'm bad with pronouncing um, certain names, so. That's, that's his Facebook name, and when it comes to his artist name, it looks like he goes by the name of Tiago Rocha, or Roca, or Rocha. I don't know how to pronounce y'all names, so if I'm fucking it up, let me know. Let me know. Alright, so he dropped this song, or she dropped, yeah, he dropped this song around uh, two hours ago. It goes under the house genre. And in a matter of two hours, he managed to get nine plays, two likes. That's pretty good. Uh, 48 subscribers to your SoundCloud and two tracks in total for your page. So the song that we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take in today uh, that he sent to me is uh, A Sudden Somewhere. I like that. And uh, looking at the, the cover of the song, it's a basketball court. A sudden somewhere. I like that. So it, to me, it just sounds as if it's going to be a really bright type of song. To me, just based on the cover and a sudden somewhere, it, it just sounds like, a, like an oasis of some sort. Somewhere where anything could not well, anything, but you know, a lot of a lot of niceness can happen. So that's that's just what I gather based on the title and looking at the actual uh, cover here. So we'll take it in. We'll come back with my critique and we'll move forward. <laughs>
So that was uh, Tiago Rocha, a sudden somewhere. I gotta say, you took me on a ride there. I, I really like the song. The reason why I say that, you took me on a ride, it's almost as if when the music was playing and the, the note changed. How, you know, how could I say this? At the beginning, when it was all bright, it was all cheery, my mind went to a happy place. Like, I'm in a, I'm in a park somewhere with some fans with some friends having a good time and then the you know and then all of a sudden the, the note changed you know, the melody changed it, it became dark to the point where it was it was like there was like a rough patch a bad scene in a movie you know those times in a movie where things just go sour things just end up into the shits and it's only temporary because not all bad things will last that long eventually there's gonna before you see the rain there's gonna be sorry before you see the sunshine there's gonna be some rain <laughs> so this is the picture that i was painted after listening to the song you know what i'm saying we're just going up and down and i like that so you know what i'm gonna give this song a nine and i would recommend you as well to sign up with uh, Newsgrounds. one thing for sure y'all i i'm not working with these guys at all i have nothing to do with Newsground. The reason why I say this is because I'm with them, so when it comes to video games and the music that, you, that, that you're making, I, I'm just suggesting you signing up with them because they'll, 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 they'll put you in the right path when it comes to your content. You never know, you might even hear a video, yo, your song in another video game, and the next video game story that comes out, and you're, the, you're that inspiration to them. To the people, to the kids, the youth, whoever it is that's taking it in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's just let's, let's just keep it moving. Cause um I'm getting amped. <laughs> and it's like uh quarter to eleven right now. I shouldn't get this type of energy or else I'll do something stupid. <laughs> Alright, who do we got next? We got Sardan Mina. Nan Ladanovic. Oh man, I'm so sorry, dude. I don't know how to pronounce your name at all. At all. Christ. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna spell it out because the more I try, the more I feel like an idiot because I don't know how to. Sp I don't know how to pronounce it. S D A N. That's your first name. M L A D E N O V I C, Sardan Ladonovic. I I I try. Um, <laughs> you got this song here, dance and E D M. Wow, today is just straight dance techno, and now E D M. This is good. You put this out five months ago. Twenty one plays, four likes. All right, that's what's up. Um, <laughs> 45 people have subscribed, uh, 11 tracks. The reason why I'm laughing is because I just took a poop, and I, I'm sure that's gonna be played in this video. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, whatever. So, we're gonna play this song. And we're just going to come back with a response, or I should say some feedback regarding what, what we've heard. Again, any one of y'all can state your critique below in the comments about how you felt about the songs. You can even go to their page, you can go to, you can, as long as they, these independent artists are getting some sort of feedback, I'm sure everybody will be happy. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so again, we're gonna go by this guy. Oh, he goes by the name of Kiram. Oh, yeah. This is none other than a bar, man. Edmund the General, yeah? They call me Ed G the General. Straight from Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music. 
is none of They call me Ed, they the general Straight, straight song, from yeah. Toronto Yeah, 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 yeah they call me Ed, they the general Straight from Toronto They want my day one They call me Ed, they the general Straight from Toronto They call me Ed, they the general Bobby video Back up for me Back up Bobby Valentino, I'm running. You've got your shoes and your keys. If you want it back, bring me some money. Call me so I can tell you the price, Bobby V. Don't run, Bobby Valentino. Come here. Come on, Bo. <laughs> oh man alright well you know what this is your boy Edmund the General also known as the brand and uh, what you just witnessed is uh, Bobby Valentino his name has been going all over the web and it's obvious he was um, he was caught slipping with a tranny <laughs> Now, we can't ignore the fact that he's not the only one that's been fucking trannies. You know what I'm saying? We got Amy Murphy. We got uh, Jamie Foxx. Um, you know, the list goes on. He, he just happens to be one of the very uh, few that got caught with the one. That's all. <laughs> so let's not act like he's the, he's the only one that's, that's, that's about that life. About that man booty life, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's just a damn shame. Like, why didn't he even pay this man his money? That's what I'm tripping about. You can't just leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you paid for the service. You paid to get whatever it is that you were looking for at that time, either to blow that back or to get your back blow to get your back broken, <laughs> whatever your preference is, right? And uh, you just dip like that? Come on, man. I want to believe you went there not knowing that that was a tranny. I want to believe that you went there thinking that that was a woman. But then after when the pants went down because you were already down. Hey, you know what? You got slipping. You got caught. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, know, I know this one guy. I, I, this guy might kill me. But uh, I know this one guy, and um, <laughs> oh man, it's, this is a sad story. So, anyways, he was telling me that he was walking down the street. All right, so that was Hiram, uh, and the song was called Electric. All right, well, um, I thought the song was okay. Like it wasn't anything crazy to me. Like I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't blown away by it. I'm not saying that it's garbage. I'm just saying, at least for this song, it's just not my. I, I'm not all the way there with it. Not all the way there. Like it's catchy. Like it's catchy. You know what I'm saying? But um. I don't think there was enough enough pizzazz for me. <laughs> I, I think that's that that was my only issue. On a scale of one to ten, I'll I'll give this like a, a six. Yeah, I'll give it a, a six. That's just my thoughts. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna move on to another one, so I can try to get everybody fit in. Not everybody. Well, I can't get everybody one time. At least the first set of people that I tagged to let them know, hey, you know what? I I'll be taking a look. So let's see here. We got Nick for day. Alright, so 
that's his name on Facebook, and his artist name goes by the name of Four Fox all together. That's pretty cool. Song called Aquila, A Q U I L A, Wowzers. It's a neuro electronic, dropped 11 months ago. 4,470 plays, 236 likes, 40 reposts, Wowzers, 291 subscribers, 15 tracks. You know what? I'm going to take this in. Come back with my rapport. This looks like it's going to be a banger. Alright, so. Four Fox. Song Aquila. Here we go. Really good song. Really good song. Um, I'm, I'm, I gotta say, I'm really surprised. The four, the first four people that I reviewed, that I put up, back to back, great songs. 
something different, something new. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I like this. Um, scale of one to ten, I give it an eight. I, I give it an eight. Um, I, I really liked everything about it. It's not the ten factor, but it's up there. So I give it an eight. I, I, uh, I'm just really blown away that I didn't have anything negative to say about any of these songs that I just listened to. I'm amazed and I'm thankful because I, I don't want to listen to something whereas I gotta talk negatively about it. But sometimes you gotta hear the negative so that the positive could come out of it, right? People need to hear the truth, and the truth may not always be nice. It's pretty obvious, right? Truth hurts. People lose friends over the truth. Can you imagine? I'm sure you might have lost your friend over telling them the truth about whatever it is that they've got going on. They just didn't like the way how you said it. Everybody wants to get sugar-coated. You want to hear the yes man all the time, but the yes man ain't going to help you out, trust me. You need somebody from the outside looking in, especially when it comes to your music, especially when it comes to your relationship, whatever the circumstances is, you need that outside unbiased person to come in and say, hey, you know what, after my review, after my assessment, sorry, after my review, my assessment would be that, and then they'll just explain what it is, because they're not on either side. This is why I do this. I'm not on anyone's side. So your friends might have heard your song. Your friends might have pumped you up and said, Hey, this is a really good song. I think it's going to rock. But then somebody else is just going to come in the picture and be like, Hey, you know what? This song's garbage. But that's their opinion. So everybody has to remember. You like whatever it is that you do. Whatever music you put out, that's based on how you felt. Not everyone's going to cater to it. That's it. I'm signing off. I Need a Quickie Mixtapes is dropping on the 5th of August. Send your music to I Need a Quickie Mixtapes at gmail.com or edmundthegeneral at gmail.com. Visit the site edmunddegeneral.com E-D-M-U-N-D-D-A-G-E-N-E-R-A-L dot C-O-M Get at me. Alright? Peace. Fire, fire, fire.